Hi, good evening. My name is Kenton, and I'm a writing senior uh, here at Gong High School. So for my main project, I built this uh, remote control robot tank, and just a demonstration for how it works. Connection is kind of slow, but so in general, I can able to. And so in general, I can control the tank going in a different direction using the controller. And after I was being done with the base project, I went on to add a modification to the tank. So I created this automated guiding mode for my tank that when the controller is not connected to the tank, and the tank can follow the wall and makes turns when necessary. Project first, I just have to assemble the basic parts, including the gearbox, the motor shield, as well as the drill board itself. That part was pretty straightforward, but after I was moving on to the programming part, I encountered a few difficulties because it was the first time I ever used Arduino to in any project. So pro programming in Arduino was like learning, and I saw using a new coding language for me. So the major problem I encountered was that my motor wasn't really responding to all my PS2 controller instruction. Although on the serial monitor it shows that the motor shows correctly receiving all the information from my controller. So researching and just trying out different methods, I figured out it's because I had a slightly unique motor show. So that requires me to use the server library instead of the Adafruit motor library, which is more commonly used but for some reason it does not work well with my motor show. And after I was done with my remote control mode, I went on to adding these two ultrasonic sensors on the tank. And the way the ultrasonic sensor works is that it sends out the ultrasound. And using the speed of the ultrasound and the time it takes for the ultrasound to reflect from the object back to the sensor, the sensor is able to calculate the distance between the tank and the object. Yeah, using that, I was able to create an algorithm that allows the tank to follow the wall and make turns where necessary. And throughout this project, I learned a lot about electrical engineering as well as some aspect of mechanical engineering. And also, just in general, I really enjoy working with Arduino because I always enjoy learning a new coding language. And it was just really cool to see how it turns out into this project. And at the end, I just learned in, that in life, I should never be shy away from asking questions and also how to solve problems independently. And thank you for listening. wireless dongle that was basically, uh, it's like the thing you uh, kind of like on a t TV if you have like a PS2 thing, but I kind of just remodeled it and then put this on my motor show. So it's supposed to be able to communicate well with my controller. Uh, it's not as smooth as it should be today, but in general it still works. So that's what you What, do you know what frequency you're on? Uh, 9600. Why didn't you use another sensor on the right side? Uh, because my motor show was really small. I can only add two at most. So I used left hand room that if something's on the left, it will keep going forward. And if you encounter something in front, but there's nothing on the left, they will turn left. If that's something on the left and in front, they will turn right. Why did you choose a tag? Uh, it's, first off, it was cooler. <laughs> yeah. And also, I just feel like it's more durable using uh, chases instead of like four wheels. And you only need like one, well, it's two motors, but it's one gearbox and you can uh, 
power the whole thing to move in different ways. But by able to move uh, politics, it turn a lot more efficient than uh, this kind of Because uh, I said my gear ratio pretty high, so I think uh, it should be efficient enough. If, yeah.